Is this it? We're here. All yes, right. We're here. Oh yes. This is the part. Cool. Did you, re- you talk about your brain. So we'll let. <laughs> should, we, should we just put your uh, response part on instead of this? Yes, because my response part includes the part. Well, no, no. Play, play what he played. Let's just okay. get the chat. So we know, yeah. So yeah. we know what he's including. Very well. So this this will be his side of it. All right. You get what's going to happen is chat will laugh and they won't even mm-hmm. they don't even know what's on the way. They they're going to laugh how funny and they this don't is. even know. Which is what not true, but it is what they say. So, thanks, I guess. I didn't know you were such a big fan of mine. Speaking of which, what did you have to say about me? You're a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, seriously, tip, tip of the comedy iceberg. I'm not even kidding. Oh my You're god. He's upset. You called him a cuck. This is all because you called him a cuck! <laughs> this is... It's all coming together! It's the missing piece of the puzzle! This is the Rosetta Stone to decipher this whole saga! It's because you called him a cuck two years ago! And he never let it go! It's been simmering in his heart for years now! It's burned a hole inside of him that he could never fill! This he needed, is amazing. He needed everyone to see it as well. He was like, "Look he was at this! Like, look, look at this he cruelty!" He called me a cuck two years ago, <laughs> <laughs> and now the chickens are coming home I didn't to know roost. You... And, my God, there's so much more to to, to uncover here. Such a big fan of oh mine. Oh my God! Speaking I'm of revitalized. Which, what did you have to say about me? You're a cuck. You're a fucking cuck. <laughs> Not only are you a cuck, you're like fat bastard cuck. <laughs> oh, I guess he doesn't like me. Anyway, I'm mostly bringing this up just to acknowledge it. It seems Patrician TV this. is not a fan of mine, and I'm not really sure why. I've never interacted with him, uh, so this is a mm. one-sided relationship. <laughs> Until now. So, <laughs> uh, is, is, it, is it time to give the full context? Yes. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> we, have, we have to find it. I, shit. Oh, I can't oh, remember. I got, I, yeah, I got your video ready. I just okay. Can't remember. <laughs> you've got you've got it down to the part. Let's just make sure one five two fifty is where we were. Because uh, I suppose we will be returning, but yeah, I've got I've got the timestamp as well. All right, sweet. So, he lads, this is the liar's response, lying through his teeth. The cult leader with all of his mm-hmm. snake oil dribbling down the whole video. Mutant. Um, Ew. Now, what we're gonna have to do. Is uh, seven seven twenty eight is where I'm going, I believe. That sounds right. Let's head to seven twenty five. That should do it. All right, here goes. I who was avoiding this conversation. The last thing I want to mention is that never says I called him a cuck. <laughs> Find that fucking funny. Like, I can't believe yeah, you have to address these allegations like an adult. You're not ready. Nobody's ready for this. Friggy, you better oh fucking get your seatbelt on. I'm not even kidding. Are you really? Okay. Yes. You're not ready for okay. this. This is this this was shocked me. Speaking of which, what did you have to say about me? You're a cuck. You're a fucking cuck. Not only are you a cuck, you're like fat bastard cuck. Oh, I guess he doesn't like me. The context he leaves out is that it is in response to the following quote he said in his Skyrim video. I suppose, now that you've stuck with me for five hours, I should admit that the basis of my ex-lover theory comes from personal experience. I love this series. The Elder Scrolls was like the first serious long-term relationship of my gaming dating life. Why? I thought it was the one, but it understood me. <laughs> What? Listen, listen, this is gonna be. <laughs> you gotta let him cook in this one. No. <laughs> is, he leading, is he leading up to no. Emil cooking? Did Emil no. cook him? I, <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna right. roll it you back. Gotta a let, you bit. gotta let him go. Yeah, you gotta let him go. Personal experience. I love this series. The Elder Scrolls was like the first serious long term relationship of my gaming dating life. I thought it was the one, but it understood me. That of all the games that I made, it was the one that was designed just for me. I guess I was young and naive. I didn't understand that things would change for both of us. A lot has happened since those early days, but I'll always cherish those memories. I've never felt as connected to any virtual world as I did with you back then. And now I'm getting older, I wonder if I'll ever feel that way about the virtual world again. I know you've gotten older too. I guess you've moved on. But I still wonder sometimes if you miss it. And I know you've achieved a lot. It's incredible really looking at how far you've come. But you had a passion back then. It was a spark. You understood what it meant to dream. (coughs) And I just hope you still understand that. I hear you're with a new guy now. One with more money than me. 
Oh my fucking <laughs> what? god. What? What? <laughs> Metaphor, you're a fucking cuck. Really? <laughs> Or you're a fucking cuck, really? <laughs> In your own metaphor, you're a cuck. He's calling, he's calling him a cuck, it's true! Yeah. Oh my god! The little fucking weasel cuck! The little weasel cuck! Cooked too long, it's big. <laughs> Wow. What, oh my God. what can men do against such reckless hate? What, what is this? <laughs> More That's money insane. Me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> You're a cuck. You're a cuck in your own metaphor. You're a fucking cuck. Really? Why would you... <laughs> I hope it works out for you. I moved on too, you know. Actually, I ended up starting a YouTube channel. You'd never guess what it's about. And it's been going pretty well. Although sometimes the videos do get a little weird. <clears throat> Well, this isn't exactly how I expected I'd end this series, but here we are. Hey, Elder Scrolls, if you're listening- You- you literally- Not only are you a cuck, you're like, fat bastard cuck. Leaving out the context that you set up the joke yourself that Elder Scrolls was your girlfriend who left you for a richer guy is really all I needed to hear to know that I did not need to take this seriously. <laughs> The thing is, I think wow. he was serious. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. upset that you pointed out his analogy made him the cuck. His own analogy did that. <laughs> it's, well, it's not even really an analogy. It goes further than that. I had to two times speed it because it's so fucking long. It is long. <laughs> He's, it's, his, it's his fucking love letter to... You know what? It's his love letter to life. I love how you just fucking give up. It's like, <laughs> really? It. Uh, it's how do you respond? How do you take this seriously after this? Okay, uh, this whole time I've been on <laughs> Team Trap. How do you not understand my perspective at this point? Like, what? I don't know how it's many not, years it's going to take, but one day he will listen back to that and be like, "Fuck it, hell, I did say that." <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's some of the most cringe he had to shit have. I've he ever had to heard. Have. He had to have to record it and to cut out that specific part. He had to listen to the context. No, I know. I'm saying that like he that, he he just he doesn't he doesn't yet feel ashamed of it. Though he did cut it out of the context, like you said. So I've been told it's based on a real story that he's dealt with. It, we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, can we opt? Can we opt I'm out of this so group chat? Lost. <laughs> I am so lost. I'm no, scared like, and alone. <laughs> This I'm so incredible. lost. <laughs> this was not the adventure I think we all thought we were getting into. No, Let's just put it that way. No, no, it wasn't. Oh man, when I said this video was a five, I was. Well, like, what really is it? What is it? Right? It feels like an art film of videos at this point. Like, it feels. It, this is fucking experimental. <laughs> we're all changed men. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, I feel like the hobbits when they get back to the fire. There is no going home. Life isn't going to be the same after this stream. It isn't. No one can understand what we've been through. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when we started this podcast, we didn't think this is where it would go. And this is what it's all about. This is what he's fucking mad it's about. about family. <laughs> he's mad you called him a cuck. <laughs> he's, mad, he's mad you recognized him calling himself a cuck. Yeah, you would even like, out to make it look like it to a story he told where like the Elder Scrolls series was a person whom he <laughs> loved and left him for a richer man. I don't, I don't understand how did this happened. I was not ready for that. I was not ready. I wasn't. We don't, uh, we don't have to do anything else, right? That's that. We're no, as far I, as I know, no. that's it. They, we, they, we hit the because how could we take it seriously after TV this? sections. Like I feel like do we want to do we want to like watch the last couple minutes of his to get his final. I guess let's see if he can if he can nose like dive out of this. But I feel like this is a strong stopping point. This is a hell of a capstone <laughs> for this stream. Well, I know what yeah, fucking yeah. chat's gonna say, so we may as well not <laughs> ask them. <laughs> like, is there any more cuck stuff? <laughs> any more cuck stuff? Asking for a friend. Huh. Does he put feet pics <laughs> in his video? <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, yeah, that's true.
contacted with him. So this is a one-sided relationship until now, I guess. That said, it is a shame because I feel this undermines my video a little bit by making it seem like this is in some way personal. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Come on. Come okay. This is, it is. This is personal. You can't fool anybody. It's way too fucking we personal. No. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. <laughs> like listening to someone rant for the entire night that you come to visit them, and all the person they hate did was drop like a Mars bar rapper. You're like, I feel like something else is going on. Like you. Do you have any reason to hate them? Like, well, they called me a cuck five years ago, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. <laughs> like, uh, okay. I feel like a therapist staring at their notes, not knowing what to write. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how much the next appointment's going to have to cost. So, can we put this image on stream now? This is a meme that's coming out of this. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> now I know the context. <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> Now that I know it's real. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this has been a wild ride. We have, we've not done something like this ever. I feel like this is uh, a unique episode. Breaking you know? new ground. Yeah. This is a good follow up to uh, me not talking much the last time. It's so excruciating to go through the fucking whole video with all these repeated arguments. The arguments that even if true wouldn't make much of a difference. Like barely showing any context. Just straight up bombarding with so many arguments you didn't realize they contradict, and then ending with you called me a cuck. <laughs> Two years ago. Okay. Even, if, a even a in good in faith at this level, that's stupid. So for well, so to be Again, he needs that context. friend that, to tell him, like, mm -hmm. bro, if you put this in, I think people are going to think that you care a lot about this. Like, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And you might encourage people to discover the context <laughs> and that's not good. <laughs> like that, that would be Especially bad. if you include the fucking timestamp. Yeah, bro, you should leave this buried. <laughs> Hello, you just listened to a segment of the podcast Every Frame of Pause, or EFAP, hosted by YouTubers Mauler, Rags, and Fringy, and joined by a cycling variety of guests across the internet. They critically analyze media with exhaustive detail while pausing at every single frame. Subscribe to the EFAP channel and catch new episodes on Saturdays, as well as catch their smaller videos reacting to the latest and not-so-greatest movies and TV shows throughout the week. You can also subscribe here to EFAP highlights for the latest shorts, clips, and supercuts also uploaded throughout the week. Links to all the relevant channels can be found in the description section below, as well as links to their communities on Reddit and Discord. Thanks for watching.